In today's video, I'm going to share with you what kind of little projects we have done. I'm gonna share a quick living room tour and I'm going to show you how I process a few items from my grocery. This little organizing idea will benefit you very much if you live in a small space because you can just create that on your sliding door. So I just used these hooks to store my shopping bags Also, I'm going to put the notebook here where I can write down what I need to buy from the store. It will be very convenient because it's just right next to the pantry. Another useful thing in this kitchen is this white chalk marker and I can write on the sliding door what are the things that I want to cook or do on the given day. The light bulbs uh, may have burned out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> can you... Here. Um, <laughs> okay, it's keep getting better, but can you, can you somehow put this I don't know, these things up there, so this is a... You just put a candle like this. <laughs> I know, but they are not on the place where I want them to be, so... Why would you want it? A little bit that way, so I can push the table that way, so it doesn't look funky. I want to put this up there. Can you help me with this? I was thinking we can use this piece. That's, That's the only thing I find out there, so. Maybe there's another one. Woo! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh. I find this one. Is it good? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Wanna be a level? No, it is a level. No, it's just wanna be a level. No, it is a level. Look at that. I know, but it's wanna be a level. It is a level. Look, it is a level. It's a wanna be a level. No, it is a level. No? Well, it's either it's I'm working, huh? either I am perfect or the level is bad. for the tools. We can put the screws up here.
Okay, so that would be the living room, which is not much. <laughs> the main thing is the fireplace and we have the coach and that's our living room. <laughs> we added a shaft. It just makes it more cozy and I have the light up there. This is the same than what we have in the bedroom. I have some matches in there if we wanna light up the fireplace. And then now we have these two shafts, but it's just bringing down things from the higher ceiling. It makes more cozy environment. I want to use this high ceiling to have some fun with hanging things and just uh, add more dimensions to the room if I can use um, things that can be hanged. Okay, for this area, now we actually figured out the thing with that shaft. This is actually working better than I thought. I have two of those over there and I have one. So I have all the supplies for when they are learning. And there's a few books over here that they use right now. And I got more done there, but I don't wanna add extra furniture just because of those books. So we can bring those out. But basically we just keep the things here that they are gonna use on most of of the days and of course we have the laptops too when they are learning but this is the things that we have to keep here to make the learning possible and easier and over here I'm pretty sure it won't come through the same way as I'm seeing it yeah it's very woo -woo. <laughs> it's kind of bouncing this light but in real life it doesn't it actually gives a very warm glow it's a strip light that was in the boys room so I put one side on the front of the houses and one on the back and just a little greenery and I wish I could show you how it looks like in real life it's really it has a nice atmosphere it's very cozy and it gives an extra light to this dark room and it's not running and bouncing like over here and I just added a curtain until we can get around <laughs> this space or area and I have this rug over here and this is where it is I still have to paint this room we haven't painted and as you can see um, it needs lots of work in that area but we are getting around that Deep and abiding 
to prepare the sweet potato I'm just going to cut them up and I'm going to use the spice that I preserved last summer so I have some herbs from my garden I had sage rosemary and celery at the time and it's very simple to make and I made a video on that and I will link that video down below in the description box for you if you want to watch it in more detail but basically I just washed all the herbs and I dried off the water a little bit and then I put the salt into the food processor with these herbs and what is happening basically the salt preserve it and also the herbs just really infuse the flavor into the salt and tastes really amazing I'm not really big fan of the dried herbs just general but with this method to preserve them with the salt it's really just it has more flavor and fragrance Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.